Hi, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create this shadow effect inside of After Effects. Before I start this tutorial, I just want to let you know that I upload a new tutorial every week. So if you would like to see more tutorials, then please subscribe to my channel. So let's start. First, I'm going to create a new composition and I'm just using the HDTV 1080 preset and I'm going to call it main. Now I'm just going to type in some text and in this tutorial I'm going to shatter a text layer but you don't have to um, do that you can apply the shatter effect to any um, type of layer so um, yeah um, now I'm going to click on the effects and presets tab and right here where it says um, simulation you should find the um, shadow effect here it is and then I'm just going to apply it um, to my text layer so um, now as you can see we just have these bricks that are basically um, um, shattering and we have um, the view and it's set to wireframe plus forces if I set this to rendered we can see our text and we can see it being shattered. Um, then if we click on shape, we have a lot of different patterns and for today's tutorial, I'm going to use glass. And now if I change this view back to wireframe plus forces, you can see the shape of the glass that's being shattered. So I'm going to change this number to 50 so that we get more um, fragments. And I'm going to change the extrusion depth to um, 0 0.1. You can change this to basically um, whatever you want, but for um, this tutorial, I'm going to use um, 0 0.1. So now let's move on to physics and these forces. So right now, as you can see, we have the gravity set to 3. Um, we have the rotation speed set to 0 0.2 and we have the tumble axis set to 3. So gravity controls um, how fast these fragments will fall down. Basically, if we set the gravity to a higher value, they will fall down faster. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to set the gravity to 9.81 and I'm going to leave the tumble axis um, on free. Now let's take a look at um, these forces. So basically this right here is your um, force one and as you can see we have the um, radius of the force um, shown with this um, light blue circle. So basically I'm just going to create a radius keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch and I'm going to change it to zero and then I'm going to move maybe 30 frames forwards by pressing shift and page down three times and then I'm going to change the um, radius to let's see um, 0 0.40 so yeah now we have um, an animation that um, looks like this and if I change my view to rendered we can see um, the text um, being shattered. Um, another um, thing that we can do is if we want uh, a 2D look, we can change um, the tumble axis to none and we can change the extrusion depth to zero. And right now, if we take a look at this, you can see that um, this has a 2D look. So let's change this back to um, 0.1 and let's change um, the tumble axis to free and now I'm just going to press U and that's going to show me all of my keyframes and now I'm just going to make um, this animation a lot faster so I'm going to do that um, basically by changing um, these keyframes so now let's do a quick RAM preview to see what we made So yeah, we made a nice looking animation and we did it all inside of After Effects. 
um, you can see that you can do a lot with this effect and this is um, what you can do with it in less than five minutes. Now I'm just going to uh, type in force motion blur and I'm going to add this effect to my text and you can see that we get a cool um, looking effect um, when we apply um, this motion blur. So now I'm just going to do uh, one more RAM preview so that we can see um, our animation. So yeah, um, this is basically it. As you can see, it's really easy to use the shadow effect and you can create some really interesting stuff with it. If you would like to request a tutorial, then there's a link in the description. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, then please give it a like. Thank you for watching and see you next time.